Hi 11s and 12s, this is now our sixth and final video for our DNA profile PowerPoint and this one we're going to talk about STR analysis and this is a question that pops up in tests and exams quite a bit so this is an important little section of the video to be watching. Um, so we talked a little bit about STRs, so what STR analysis is, is when biologists will actually compare the STR at specific locations in DNA from two or more samples. Now scientists have actually gone through and they've found that several positions in the human DNA that generally STRs are found quite frequently. So for example, in chromosome 11, there's an STR sequence TCAT at the location THO1. Okay. Now the number of times that STR TCAT repeats on chromosome 11 is based on the individual. So for example, as I said in the last video before, maybe I've got this repeating 15 times, maybe you've got this repeating 16, 17 times. It's depending on the individual okay and because of that that allows scientists to compare the dna of those individuals now where we do that is through str analysis through an str electropherogram which is what they've got up here this is very similar i think it's even got the same numbers as the one in your textbook okay this is just a small portion i've cut out the rest of it so we can just focus on this one so an str electropherogram is physically just a graphical representation showing the locations of those STRs on certain chromosomes. So for example, here is the graphical representation of the STRs at the location DAS1179. Okay, that's the location on a chromosome. Okay. This pharogram here, it's got four different locations on different chromosomes in our body. Okay. When there's two peaks, so you can notice over here, D7S820 only has one peak, whereas DAS1179 has two peaks. The reason for two peaks is because the individual, because remember we've got 46 chromosomes, which is 23 pairs, the individual has a different amount of STRs on each chromosome, because you get one chromosome from mum, one chromosome from dad, etc. Okay, this tells us that on one chromosome at this location, this individual has that um, STR repeating 13 times, but at this location, they've got that STR repeating 16 times. Okay. Same over here at the chromosomes on location D21S11. Um, on one chromosome, the STR is repeated 28 times. On the other part of the pair of that chromosome is repeated 29 times. Okay. Why this is useful is electropherograms, because we've talked about how unlikely it is that two people have the same STRs or the NTRs, the STRs repeating so many times, we can use this forensic evidence, we can determine the paternity and maternity tests, as well as hereditary. 